What's up, everybody? This is Mommy Wata. Please excuse my deep voice. I'm just waking up, woke up with a number of downloads, okay? I had a dream about Shot G and my grandma, okay? Who both of them, may they rest in peace, are not with us. So I don't know what that meant. They were in different parts of my dream, but I'm going to explore that with the Holy Spirit later. Right now, though, we're going to see what the Holy Spirit wants y'all to know, okay? So we're going to start out with my I Be Knowing Oracle cards, okay? Hello to my new subscribers. Hello to my old faithfuls. I appreciate y'all. Y'all be sticking in here with me. I'm just so proud of my channel's organic growth, okay? Ain't nothing been bought over here. Anybody that's rocking with me is because they feel the message. They feel what I'm putting down, okay? And I appreciate all the support, all the likes, all the shares, all of the subscriptions. Thank you so much for all of your support. So let's see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know. Well, dang, that was a lot. <laughs> so we're not going to take all of these cards. Let's see them. Holy Spirit, what is the message here? What oracle messages do you have for us? What would you like for us to know? Good witch is back out here. Mm. What else, Holy Spirit? What else would you like for us to know? That might be it. Any final oracle messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else you want us to know? Or is that all? I think that might be it, y'all. I think that's it. We talking about a good witch. Mm. All right. So let's see what's up, then. Yep, that was the only card that flew out. So we're going to use the original, original man when it comes to tarot cards. The Tour de Marseille. Marseille. Y'all have to help, help me out. There. But we're going to work with these bees today, okay? These ugly ass cards. But these cards be really pulling out some truth. So we're going to see. I can't use these in a while. Let's go. Holy Spirit, what is the message here? Cut the deck on the lovers? Hmm. Let's see what comes out. Let's go. Holy Spirit, what is the message? Message is Holy Spirit. We have the Six of Wands here. So somebody is in the in the spotlight right now. We have the Ace of Wands. Someone is in the spotlight because of their passionate new beginning here. What else, Holy Spirit? We got the Ace of Cups out here now. So somebody is definitely doing good in life right now, okay? We got somebody out here who is in the spotlight. They're being celebrated because of their Ace of Wands and their Ace of Cups, okay? This person is coming off as somebody who really just has a pie-ass life, all right? Whoever this is, possibly this good witch energy here. We have the emperor. I feel like this emperor is watching this person come up in life, watching this person be celebrated. We have the seven of wands, but their guard is up to this emperor here, this emperor energy. They're being protected from this emperor is what I'm picking up here. We have the magician. They're being protected from this emperor and his manipulation. Hmm. This emperor had some, some plot or plan, some creative endeavor in mind when it came to this other individual. But they are being blocked from whatever it was that they were trying to do here. We have the five of wands. This emperor energy is being blocked from causing drama in this other person's life. 
Why is this emperor? We have the king of cups. So this emperor energy, even though he mad, okay, he still have has love for this other party, this feminine energy here. It's a thin line between love and hate. We have the Queen of Wands. He have, has love for this good witch. The queen, the, the queen of Wands in the deck can be considered the witch of the deck. Okay? Um, she's very intuitive. She's She has some ways with her. I mean, y'all know how I feel about the Queen of Wands. Okay? Um, she can... She has her ups and her downs with me. But this Queen of Wands energy that I'm picking up on, I'm definitely picking up on good witch energy. This Emperor can't stand this Queen of Wands, but he loves her at the same time. Okay? She is the good witch here, and she's being celebrated. Her The proof is in the pudding. All right? Then I'm going to say that. She coming out as a Six of Wands, an Ace of Wands and an Ace of Cups. She definitely is doing something right, okay? So I, it's understandable why she's coming out as a good witch, as a high vibing Queen of Wands. We have the Strength card here. I feel like this Emperor Energy, he struggles with his feelings regarding this Queen of Wands energy. One minute, like I said, it's a thin line between love and hate. One minute he loves her, he adores her, he's watching her. And then in the next minute, he's trying to hurt her, hurt her somehow or block her abundance, um, cause issues. It's like he wants her to be upset and mad. Okay, he's really struggling with dealing with dealing with her abundance, dealing with her success. He He's struggling with that. Why? Why he can't just get his shit together and they celebrate together? We have, y'all, I'm telling y'all, this woman is a divine being. She is a good witch. She is a chosen one. We have the Ace of Pentacles out here now. We got all three Aces out here. We got Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. And I'm missing, the only thing I'm missing is what? The Ace of Swords, okay? But she is the truth with this star energy here. This good witch energy, this Queen of Wands energy, she brings truth and clarity. She I almost said reeks of innocence. And I think this is what's irritating this emperor, okay? He's like, she's too good to be true. There's got to be something with her. She can't be this perfect, okay? She can't be this good. Like this, I'm picking up the energy that this emperor wanted this queen of wands to look bad in other people's eyes, okay? He wanted people to see her as some type of low vibing queen of wands, some kind of bad witch, Somebody who was promiscuous. Somebody who does evil and manipulative things. All right. This is the energy that he wanted her to be seen in. This is the person that he wanted her to be. But this is not who she is. And it's obvious this is not who she is because she's being celebrated with a passionate new beginning, an abundant new life. She has an ace of pentacles. Literally, she is going to be provided for and cared for by the universe. Okay, so we definitely talk about good witch energy. And this emperor is mad about it. What else, Holy Spirit? Mm. It's a thin line between love and hate. I feel like it's some jealousy going on here with this five of uh, wands energy. The fact that he's trying to create drama in her life. There's some envy and jealousy happening here. We have the three of wands. This... Queen of Wands has moved on away from this Emperor energy, and that's also part of the problem. He feels like she left him behind, that she moved on and she excelled without him. She came up without him. We have the Hermit card here. 
I feel like this emperor is trying to figure out how this queen of wands did it. I do feel like he thinks she used some type of manipulation. Some type of, like she did something wrong to get where she's at. He's not convinced that she just came up or that she just truly is this divine being who is favored by God, okay? He he feels like there's some something that needs to be exposed, okay, with the sun card. He feels like this Queen of Wands, Good Witch Energy is hiding something. But she's not hiding anything. She's just the Nine of Pentacles. She's just blessed. She's just going to be provided for by the universe. And that shit got him hot, okay? I'm definitely picking up on this jealousy vibe. <clears throat> Excuse me, throat chakra, okay? I'm definitely picking up on an energy like He's mad that she's successful. You know, you got some men who do not like their women to do better than them. If their woman is more successful, has more money, is living better, just doing better all around, a lot of men's ego cannot handle that. They have to pick a woman who really ain't got shit going on that needs them, that's very codependent. And this queen of wands is far from it, okay? She don't need this emperor. He an emperor. He used to people coming to him for things, needing him, wanting him. But she doesn't. She's not in that energy. She has it all on her own. He can, you know, stay or go with this empress card here. I can't make it up. She don't, she don't, she's not requiring him to be a part of her life. There's no codependency here. And that's what he's upset about. This good witch being independent, coming into her own, on her own, and not running behind this emperor, King of Cups energy here. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else you want us to know? Mm, We're going to take all of these, okay? We have the Ten of Wands, Justice, and... The Eight of Pentacles. So he's work. He's he put in work. He put in work to try to make this Empress Queen of Wands good witch look bad. Okay, he was trying to bring justice when justice didn't need to be served in this situation. This Emperor really truly felt like this Empress, this Queen of Wands good witch, was really some type of bad witch, manipulative, sneaky, conniving person. I'm telling y'all, that's what I'm picking up. That's what I see here. He worked really hard to show that she was not who she was, but this is why I think she got blessed even more, okay? With this justice card here, she received justice for, she received even more justice for the effort with this Eight of Pentacles that he put in to try to make her look bad. And he has to walk away from this, this task that he was on to try to make this good witch look bad, okay? He has to move on from this. It's like everything that he tried to do, it just, I'm telling y'all, it enhanced her even more. It was like God said, Oh, well, you trying to fuck with this divine being? You trying to fuck with my baby girl? Okay. Well, I'm just going to really bless her all up in y'all face. 1414 was just on the phone. I'm going to really show you that how good of a witch she is. Okay. And he mad about it. Oh, he, he's livid. He, he do not like that this woman was independent and did her own thing without him. And also, I have to say this, he also elevated her abundance even more because he was her divine counterpart. And instead of him getting on the same page as her and they coming into this Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles energy together, he decided that he wanted to work against her and bring her down somehow. And this is why she's even more blessed, okay? 
Anything else you want us to know, Holy Spirit, before I close this reading out? We have the Eight of Cups. He got to walk away. We got the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Cups right after that. He got to walk away. He might as well just give up this fight. And it's crazy because he loves her. He came out as the King of Cups. This man is in love with this woman. But again, it's a thin line between love and hate. It's like, I'm telling y'all, one minute he like, I can't stand this bitch. Next minute he like, I can't live without this bitch. I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> he loves to hate her. Mm. Well, I hope this message helps somebody. Because I'm really, 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 really seeing where this emperor could have just got in line and, you know, bonded with this empress and he would have been in the same energy as well, but he wanted to be her enemy. Mm. And he's been defeated, okay? So if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. But I do know that it applies to someone. Let it stick where it fit. And I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.